morning, boys and girls. This is Miss Underwood again, and I'm coming to you from my makeshift classroom. And today I have chosen one of our very favorite characters for us to read about, and it's Amelia Bedelia. Today is April 1st, and I thought Amelia Bedelia would be a really fun character to read because she often gets things mixed up because she mixes up the words or the meaning of the words. So, in honor of April Fool's Day, let's take a read at Amelia Bedelia by Peggy Parrish, pictures by Fritz Siebel, and let's see what happens with Amelia Bedelia today. Oh, Amelia Bedelia, your first day of work. I can't be here, but I made a list for you. You just do what the list says, said Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers got in the car with Mr. Rogers and they drove away. My, what nice folks. I'm going to like working here, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia went inside. Such a grand house. These must be rich folks, but I must get to work. Here I stand just looking, and me with a whole list of things to do. Amelia Bedelia stood there a minute longer. I think I'll make a surprise for them. I'll make them a lemon meringue pie. I do make good pies. So Amelia Bedelia went in the kitchen, she put a little of this and a pinch of that in a bowl, and she mixed it and she rolled it. Soon, her pie was ready to go in the oven. There, said Amelia Bedelia, that's done. Now, let's see what the list says. Change the towels in the green bathroom. Amelia Bedelia found the green bathroom. The towels are very nice. Why change them, she thought. Then Amelia Bedelia remembered what Miss Rogers had said. She must do just what the list had told her. Well, all right, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia got some scissors and snipped here and snipped a little there, and she changed those towels. Now, do we think that's what the list meant for her to do? There, said Amelia Bedelia, and she looked at her list again. Dust the furniture. Did you ever hear such a thing? Such a silly thing? At my house, we undust the furniture, but to each its own way. Amelia Bedelia took one last look at the bathroom, and she saw a big box with the words dusting powder on it. Right there. Well, look at that, a special powder to dust with, exclaimed Amelia Bedelia. So Amelia Bedelia dusted the furniture. That should be dusty enough. My, how nice it smells. Now, that's two times that she's done something on the list. Do we think she's doing what she's supposed to do on that list? drapes when the sun comes in, read Amelia Bedelia. She looked up. The sun was coming in. Amelia Bedelia looked at the list again. Draw the drapes. That's what it says. I, I'm not much of a hand at drawing, but I'll try. So Amelia Bedelia sat right down and she drew those drapes. So that's three things on her list she's done. <clears throat> Amelia Bedelia marked off about the drapes. Now what? Put the lights out when you finish in the living rooms. Amelia Bedelia thought about this a minute. She switched off the lights, then she carefully unscrewed each bulb. And Amelia Bedelia put the lights out. So those things need to be aired out too? Just like pillows and babies. Oh, I have a lot to learn. So she's working her way through the list. Do you air out your light bulbs? 
I don't in my house. My pie, exclaimed Amelia Bedelia, and she hurried into the kitchen. Just right, she said, and she took the pie out of the oven and put it on the table to cool. Then she looked at her list. Measure two cups of rice. That's next, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia found two cups and she filled them with rice. And Amelia Bedelia measured the rice with the measuring tape. Now, is that how you measure rice with a measuring tape? I think I would have used a measuring cup. Amelia Bedelia laughed. These folks do want me to do funny things. Then she poured the rice back in the container. Hmm, I'm not sure that's what they wanted her to do. The meat market will deliver a steak and a chicken. Please trim the fat before you put the steak in the ice box. And please dress the chicken. When the meat arrived, Amelia Bedelia opened the bag. She looked at the steak for a long time. And she said, yes, this will do nicely. Amelia Bedelia got some lace and bits of ribbon, and Amelia Bedelia trimmed that fat before she put the steak in the icebox. Now, have you ever put lace and ribbon on your meat or chicken, or has mom or your grown-up ever done that? I've never done that. Now I must dress the chicken. I wonder if she wants a he chicken or a she chicken, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia went right to work. Soon, the chicken was finished. Have you ever seen a chicken wear clothes? Amelia Bedelia heard the, heard the back door open. The folks are back, she said, and she rushed out to meet them. Amelia Bedelia, why are the light bulbs outside, asked Mr. Rogers. The list said to put the lights out said Amelia Bedelia. It didn't say to bring them back in. Oh, I do not hope they get aired out too long. Amelia Bedelia, the sun will fade the furniture. I asked you to draw the drapes. I did, I did, see? Said Amelia Bedelia, and she held up her picture. Then Miss Rogers served the furniture. The furniture, she cried. Did I dust it well enough? Said Amelia Bedelia. That's such nice dusting powder. Miss, Mr. Rogers went to wash his hands. I say, he called, these are very unusual towels. Mrs. Rogers dashed into the bathroom. Oh, my best towels. Didn't I change them enough? Asked Amelia Bedelia. Look at her. Mrs. Rogers went to the kitchen. I'll cook dinner. Where's the rice I asked you to measure? I put it back into the container, but I remembered it measured four and a half inches, said Amelia Bedelia. Was the meat delivered? Asked Mrs. Rogers. Yes, said Amelia Bedelia. I trimmed the fat just like you said. It does look nice. She opened it. Lace and ribbons? Oh dear, said Mrs. Rogers. The chicken. You dress the chicken, asked Miss Rogers. Yes, I found the nicest box to put him in, said Amelia Bedelia. Box, exclaimed Mrs. Rogers, and Mrs. Rogers hurried over to the box. She lifted the lid, and there lay the chicken, as he was just, and he was just as dressed as he could be. Mrs. Rogers was very angry. She was very angry. She opened her mouth, and Mrs. Rogers meant to tell Amelia Bedelia she was fired. Before she could get the words out, Mr. Rogers put something in her mouth. It was so good, Mrs. Fro Rogers forgot about being angry. What do we think it was? That's right, look, it's the lemon pie. Lemon meringue pie, she exclaimed. I made it to surprise you. So right then and there, Mr. 
Mrs. Rogers decided that Amelia Bedelia must stay, and so she did. Mrs. Rogers learned to say, undust the furniture, unlight the lights, close the drapes, and things like that. Mr. Rogers didn't care if Amelia Bedelia trimmed all of his stakes with lace. All he cared about was having her there to make lemon meringue pie. So, Amelia Bedelia got very confused about her list of things to do in this book. And so, I bet when Mr. and Mrs. Rogers came home, they thought maybe she was playing an April Fool's joke on them. Because who would get confused about those simple little directions, right? So, I want you to remember that April Fool's jokes can be fun only if they're done in good kindness, right? Because they're fun if they don't get anybody hurt, okay? So, it's okay to play an April Fool's joke as long as everybody is having a good time and nobody gets hurt, all right? Now, Miss Underwood loves you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Now, I want you to remember that Amelia Bedelia might should have thought things through a little bit better. And so today, as you go about your day, if your mom and dad or your grown-up ask you to do something and you don't quite understand it, maybe you should ask a question. Because asking questions, there's nothing wrong with asking a question to clarify, okay? So to make sure that you do it right the first time. Unlike Amelia Bedelia, who made lots of mistakes. And mistakes are okay. But if we can prevent making a mistake by simply just asking a question, we'd rather just do that in the beginning, right? Miss Underwood loves you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. And I cannot wait till later today because we're going to do a math lesson today. And it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have a great April Fool's Day. And I hope you enjoyed Amelia Bedelia and her crazy antics. And I hope you eat some lemon meringue pie soon because that is one of my very favorite pies. See you soon. Bye.